to my channel. Um, so for today's video, I put up a poll Friday night asking you guys if you wanted to see a rainbow eye look or a pink lemonade eye look. And I think like 65% of you guys said pink lemonade and it was like 35 or something said rainbow. So obviously today's look is going to be a pink lemonade look and I'm very excited. Um, and we are going to be using our Morphe X James Charles palette because I do really like it. And today's video is going to be a little different from the last one because I want to experiment with like a new way of filming. So this time I am going to be doing a voiceover and the video will start with my eyebrows already done so that that's out of the way. And my other eye again will be off camera i won't be using fake lashes because i honestly don't like them and they were just for the video's purposes and i think i should really stay true to actually how i would wear the look and i wouldn't wear it with fake lashes because i just don't like them they're not comfortable so please like subscribe and comment down below what looks you guys want to see next and if you guys like me doing the voiceover or if you like me talking through it as i'm going and yeah Enjoy and keep on watching. Let's get on to the video. All right, guys. So we're going to dip into our MAC Prolong Wear Paint Pot in the shade Painterly and use our Morphe MB15. And this is kind of like a dense packing brush that's really good for blending in this primer. And the primer's purpose is basically just to make our eyeshadow last longer and make it go on nicer. Really let those pigments do what they got to do. And then we're going to grab our James Charles X Morphe palette, dip into the shade Pinkity Drinkity with our Morphe MB23. Now the Morphe MB23 is basically just a blending brush. It's pretty long for the bristles and what's it, what it's going to do is just put like a soft pink base down for that brighter pink and when we start blending upwards towards the brow bone, this pink shade is, shade is kind of just going to diffuse into the pink and it's all going to blend a lot more seamlessly. So now we're going to take our Morphe MB20 and dip into the shade Skiff, which is this hot neon pink shade. Tap off our brush and we're going to work this into our crease. Now what you want to do is start off in your outer corner and take that shade kind of low at first and bring it all the way down to like the bottom where your lid is but stay in that outer corner. Now as you have less and less product on the brush you can move more in towards the front of your eye or I guess you could say your inner corner and we're really just going to blend our crease in with this hot pink shade. We're really going to work in this shade and make sure that it goes in nicely. Um, you really want to pack on the color so that you can get the most color payoff and the most out of this pigment. I do warn you that it stains. So, now we're going to take our Morphe MB10, which is kind of like a flat concealer brush, and we're going to dip into the shade B. We're going to put this on our lid, and we're going to start in the middle of the lid and work towards the inner corner, but we aren't going to take this yellow shade to the outer corner because then it, the whole lid would be yellow and we're kind of doing like a faux half cut crease and what that means is that it's a half cut crease but without actually cutting the crease with concealer we're kind of just playing it off like we already did that step and we're gonna blend that yellow shade upwards into the pink all the way up and those colors are really gonna blend really nicely together and make kind of their own shade once you make your way all the way up but you don't want to go all the way up until you're happy with what the lid looks like and later on we will be going back into it now i'm going to grab the morphe mb19 and dip into the shade ring light and we're going to do our inner corner highlight now that yellow shade you really wanted to bring really into your inner corner so that it's kind of in your tear duct so that when we put ring light into the tear duct it'll really have this yellow shimmer the yellow shimmer will basically just be like a yellow highlighter and even though the highlighter is not yellow it will look yellow so what I'm doing is actually putting B in one more time on top of ring light and then going back in with ring light so that it looks really yellow and I'm gonna spray the sparkly shade with our MAC Fix Plus in Rosé 
which is really just going to make that color pop more and those sparkles more sparkly. And I'm just going to dab that with my finger a bit so it's not so wet. And we're going to work that into our tear duct, um, move kind of towards the lid, um, a little outwards towards my nose, and a little bit into our waterline. And now we're going to go back in with that yellow shade just to make that color a lot more um, bright and vibrant. And we're also going to go back in with that pink shade and make that vibrant as well. I am really out of breath. This is like a lot of fast talking. I don't think I'm going to be doing a voiceover again. Yikes. Um, so now I'm just blending in this pink. And flipping my mirror because now's the time where we go into eyeliner. So I flip my mirror to the zoomed in side just so that the eyeliner can be easier to put on so I can really zoom in on what I'm doing. So this is the New York color high definition liquid eyeliner in extra black. It's just a drugstore eyeliner that I've had for a while. I actually just started using liquid liners so I haven't bought myself a new one yet but um, because I do struggle with eyeliner and keeping that straight line what I like to do is have that tape there and what that does is keep that sharp line keep you from making crazy mistakes so that you don't take forever on just doing your eyeliner and it's going to be a little thick towards the outer edge of your eye but when you get towards the inner corner you want it to be really thin and really tight line your eye because we're going to be going in with our Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And instead of using this as a topper, we're actually going to be using this as a glitter eyeliner. And it turns out so beautifully. I've actually just done the black liner with the pink liner over it without any eyeshadow and it looks so good. So we're going to take our Morphe MB21, which is kind of like this needle shaped, I guess, pencil brush which I live for when doing this eyeliner look because it's so helpful, it's so sharp, and it just makes it so much easier. I don't think I could do it with any other brush, honestly. And we're basically going to take the Dofa applicator, dip the brush into it, and then slowly, 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 in short lines, line on top of that black liner. So you almost, you want to be touching the black liner, but not right on top of it if you know what i mean so it's going to cover on top of the black and you're just going to make a second line connecting to that black liner and don't be afraid to go on top of the tape that's what it's for so when you're extending your wing all the way to the end what you want to do is actually make the wing on the eye and slowly work it out onto the tape so that it's super super sharp and super super thin and i just kind of keep it a little thick where the center of my lid is for the sparkly eyeliner just so it pops more so you want to do that now obviously it looks ugly now so we're going to tape the tape off and show you guys just how sharp that line is and i'm so out of breath this is ridiculous <laughs> um this was my first time using this tape it was like a paper tape medical tape type thing so I didn't think it was going to be that sticky, but it turned out being really sticky and it kind of hurt when I took it off. So I suggest putting it on the back of your hand first and then applying the tape onto your face always because it's just going to make it a lot less sticky, a lot less painful to take off, a lot safer, you know? Now I'm just going back in with that glitter and I'm fixing any mistakes. I'm actually going to put my elbow on the table and tilt my mirror up towards my face and look down and this is going to give me so much more control and make it so much easier to apply the liner and really see what I'm doing. I didn't do this before because then you guys obviously wouldn't be seeing what I'm doing because you just see what I'm doing now. And now I'm just fixing up anything on the inner corner. I'm going in and fixing that ring light inner corner highlight. I actually highly suggest not doing your inner corner light inner corner highlight until after putting your concealer on but obviously I didn't do that in this one so let's do the second eye bam we did the second eye that was so fast Alyssa oh my god I know no that took me like 20 minutes <laughs> so now we're gonna go in with our concealer and we are using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade light neutral 
and we are making a bunch of little dots and shaping it into like a triangle shape. You can use big dots. I don't know why I did little dots on the other side of my eye. Um, I'm also going to put some concealer on my chin, on the bridge of my nose, and on my forehead. I put it on my chin just because my chin kind of gives me the shadow that I really hate, so I just kind of wanted to get rid of that. So we're going to blend that out with our Beauty Blender from Beauty Blender. Yes, this is the original Beauty Blender, the pink one, the expensive one. Probably won't do that again, but that's what we're using today. <laughs> Um, I got this for Christmas, and it actually works really well. Like, I can, I really understand the hype. I understand the price range. But if you don't want to pay that much, which is totally understandable, then the Real Techniques Beauty Blender works really well, too. But I do like to use that one dry. This one I'm using wet, as most people do. But with the Real Techniques one, I don't know. Sometimes it breaks up my concealer in a way that just doesn't look good. Now we're actually going to take ring light again. I know, I just keep on adding that inner corner highlight. And we're going to use that on our ring finger. And what my ring finger really does is just like, it pops on that glitter so well. Using your finger to apply any glitter shadow is probably going to be your best way to go in my opinion. Because it just always looks so much brighter, so much more sparkly. And I really just highly recommend. So we're going to go back in with our Morphe MB20. And we are going to get that under eye liner waterline. I really forgot what it's called. <laughs> and we're going to take that pink all the way almost to the inner corner, but not yet there because we are actually going to extend the inner corner yellow highlighting shade and get that yellow to touch the pink kind of where your pupil starts. So we're just going to blend out that pink and then take the brush that I used for the highlight, which is the MB19, and we're just going to drag that out so that the pink and the yellow blend seamlessly. So now we're going to take our Benefit Hula Bronzer and our Morphe MB4, which is like this angled contour brush, and we're just going to blend that into our cheekbones. Very pretty. I really like bronzy looks. I hate when I'm pale. I love my skin in the summer. Um, but so I really put tons of bronzer on my cheekbones, on my forehead. And I don't put a lot on my jawline, as I said in the last video, just because I don't like defining my jawline at all. And I'm actually going to use the brush that came with my hula bronzer, which is kind of like this square brush, but it works really well. For like a nose contour so we're gonna contour our nose with that and we're kind of just making like these straight lines and blending them out I don't know what this hula shade is called oh well <laughs> now we're gonna take our benefit dandelion twinkle highlighter this is also a mini and we're gonna use like a little drugstore brush that I have I think it's like a juicy couture brush but I really like using it for my highlight and I don't like the highlighting shades that I have right now and off camera I used my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and I also put on some liquid lipstick and liner from Ulta and yeah that's the look guys hope you liked it <laughs> all right guys so this is the final look the pink lemonade eye look we have a pink crease with yellow on the lid well kind of like a um like a faux half cut crease because I didn't actually cut the crease with yellow um yellow on the inner corner black eyeliner and then sparkly pink liner on top and I put on a pink lip to top it off and I'm really proud of this look I really love it I hope you guys love it I hope you guys try it out and let me know if you do um, comment down below what you guys want to see next. Um, comment down below if you like where, like, the background or, I guess, the studio that I filmed in last video or the studio I'm filming in today because I am filming in two totally different rooms. Um, and I really want to know which room you guys like better, lighting-wise. I don't know. Just which room you like better. Uh, comment, subscribe like this video, subscribe, like, subscribe, like. <laughs>
you know the deal. Um, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I made this video a lot shorter so that I don't lose your attention because I know the last one was so long and I'm so sorry that it was long. It was my first video, I was just trying things out, but this video is a lot shorter and it was more focused on the eyes. So I hope you like it. Let me know if you like the voiceover, the new background, the look in general, just comment down below. And thank you so much for everyone who showed their love and support on the last video. I really was so happy with all the positive feedback that I got and it really just want, like kept me wanting to keep filming i don't know so thank you so much for watching i'm just gonna end it right here and yeah see you next time guys